This week on Edge, we check out which game releases you don't want to miss this year, and we visit a Cassie Wi Fi network that is getting the community connected. But first, over to IT News Africa's Daryl Linnington for the hottest game releases for 2016. Hey, yes, I'm coming up. Yeah, okay, cool. See you now. Bye. Hey guys, welcome back. This is Edge and we are talking games. Now, I just got off the phone with a guy. I cannot wait for you all to meet. His name is Daryl and trust me, he knows everything about games. In fact, he's gonna be letting us know what's hot right now and what's coming up and where you should be spending your money. And there he is. How are you doing? Good and you, Daryl? Nice to have you. Awesome. Let's take a walk through. Do you? Thank you very much. Haha. -ha. Welcome to my boardroom. <laughs> oh, is that what they call it these days? <laughs> my boardroom. <laughs> okay, cool. So, so I, I believe you are the guy. You are the guy these days who knows everything about games. Pretty much say so. Well, okay. one one of the guys. So if I had to challenge you to something, you're probably going to answer the right question. Hopefully. Probably. No, probably. I'm not going to put you on the spot. Don't worry. <laughs> so you know, what? I've been I've been kind of looking around, and uh, I don't know where to spend my money. So I'm a big gamer, and I thought, you know what? Let me see where I can pretty much spend my next bit of cash to buy the next game. Mm. So I came up with five titles. Okay. And one of these titles that really stood out for me visually was Uncharted 4. Yeah. So I don't know if you literally know as much as I know about it because I've done some research and I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, it's launching next month. Next month? Yes. Yes. I might just be already sold. I don't know. I've already got goosebumps <laughs> waiting for it, so. There is no doubt, Daryl, that visuals on Uncharted 4 are insane. Yeah, yeah. Because they, they've moved the platform. So the original titles were on the PlayStation 3 and now this is a PlayStation 4 exclusive. Oh wow, okay yeah. cool. So one of the things that also stands out for me is that I, I haven't played the previous titles. Yeah. If I'm a newbie to this and I go buy Uncharted 4, Will I be satisfied if I don't know the backstory? The one thing that I can say is they've got the Uncharted Collection, which is an HD collection of the previous games which you can purchase for the PS4. Oh, wow. So you can pick up on the story, and then once the game releases, you can like roll into it, knock out some enemies. So in a nutshell, if you don't know, like me, what is Uncharted story about? So it essentially follows uh, an adventurer, his name's Nathan Drake, and it pretty much rolls with, with that sort of thing. So he's a treasure hunter, he's, mm -hmm. he's, he finds himself in these awkward situations where it's like his friend Sully, like they go on a treasure hunt, and then everything just falls pieces around him. I, I could see a movie franchise spinning out from this with the name Nathan Drake. Yeah, I think they're actually going to be looking at something like oh. that. Don't quote me on that, but it would be go. absolutely An exclusive amazing. on Edge. No, I'm <laughs> <laughs> um, and for me, though, like this game, when I when I was looking at the YouTube stuff and I was looking around and doing my research, I get a kind of a feel of like Tomb Raider. So what it essentially is is Nathan's been equipped with uh, multiple weapons for take. So it's more like a cinematic shot of a takedown, like you, you throw out that grappling hook, you got the enemy below and you're just coming in with that punch. I, ah. think, I think it's more like a, a visual effect. And it's a cool factor. Yeah, it definitely adds to the It's cool like he's a little bit of a signature, like mm. it's Nathan Drake, oh I, I do grappling hook. Yeah, so along with the spectacular visuals, there's also spectacular combat. Yes, which, I can uh, imagine. So Daryl, I've heard about this game now and uh, maybe I'm convinced, maybe I'm not. Why should I buy this game? Well, firstly you need to pick up the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection, which obviously includes oh, more all... Money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it includes all three of the first games so you can pick up on what's happening with the story. Okay. And then after that, your mind will be absolutely blown when you pick up Uncharted. So I won't be tired of Nathan Drake by the fourth No, no, no. Now what's actually happened is I've got my wife hooked onto this. So my wife's playing it, she's playing the Uncharted Nathan Drake collection and she's absolutely loving it. So the underlying factor there is that this game's clearly for everyone, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my other title that I really wanted to ask you about is Doom. Doom is a serious game. So, what is your take on Doom? Doom, Doom tends to, uh, it tends to play to the guys who are between 28 and 32, so you jump onto a PC and you jam Doom with your friends. And the thing is, they've remade the game and it looks amazing. It does look amazing. I've had a chance to play the multiplayer of the yeah. game and it, it runs pretty smoothly. There's some cool combat there. It's, it's essentially your first person shooter. Is it very dark? 
Uh, I'd say it, it's got a very dark theme to the game. Uh, obviously, it is rated 18, yeah. so you wouldn't be punching it off to your children or yeah. anything. So as I said, it's more for guys our age. Um, and yeah, it's it's got that a very, very, very dark vibe to it. So very, as it's Doom, I mean, the trailer is yeah. called Fight Like Hell. Yeah. So you're literally in hell and you're shooting demons and that sort of thing. Wow, okay. It's insane. It's absolutely insane. So, in a nutshell, why should I buy this game or should I even be thinking of buying it all? Well, the nostalgia factor. Yes. Obviously, you guys our age are going to pick it up. And I guess uh, if you're a fan, you're going to want to support this one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Uh, multiplayer as well. The the multiplayer is going to be pretty cool. Uh, from what I experienced of it, it was it was rad. It was such a great game to play. And then the campaign, which ID Software is keeping tight, um, I'd keep an eye on that though. So obviously the campaign lasts for maybe six to eight hours. That's usual with first person shooter. Mm. And yeah, that's about it. So you're literally buying the game for the multiplayer as well as the shorter version of the campaign. And it is a remake, and I see uh, it was redone by Joe Kosinski from Oblivion and Tron Legacy, so I think this guy's got a clear vision yeah. of what he wanted to get across, so I think we're in for a great title. And it's the original developers, which is ID ah. Software, so those are the guys who brought out that first game that we all played when we were back at school. Okay, okay, uh, it's, it's enough. Are you convinced? Well, uh, I think so far, so far, money's still not Uncharted 4. But let's see, I've got more, I've got more to get through. <laughs> And if you want to kill some time until these titles drop, don't go away. We'll be back right after the break with the hottest games to play right now. This one over here, Daryl, called Mirror's Edge Catalyst. I've watched some of the stuff on YouTube and I'm, I'm not convinced. Okay. Compared to what we've spoken about, meh. Anything about this game that really stands out? Uh, the original came out in 2008. So okay. I, I think that's where the push is with Mirror's Edge Catalyst. Um, it's eight years later, EA is pushed out there, they're pushing out their new game, and it does look good. Obviously, you're bouncing from roof to roof uh, as the protagonist in the game, who, from what I know, she's just come out of jail, and they're, they're pushing that storyline in it. It seems so serious. Like, it seems <laughs> so serious. For me, though, when I play a game, I want to break away. Yeah. I don't want to focus too much and, like, concentrate. So, when it comes to visuals, it, it looks it looks crisp and clean. And it looks like the developers have put quite a bit of work into it uh, over the years. Obviously, mm -hmm. I wouldn't say they've been developing it for eight years, but it's taken freaking eight years to actually bring out the sequel. Yeah. So I think that that's more of a, it's more a nostalgia feeling as well. So if you played the first one, you're going to pick this game up. If you haven't, you might look at it and go, yeah. well, you know, it's it's on the shelf. Should I pick that up? Shouldn't I pick it up? It's that sort of thing. Well, you know what? I've met Daryl for the first time today, and that means you skip this game. So yeah, <laughs> trailer didn't get me. So hey. Mirrors is Catalyst, maybe, maybe, probably not for me. I'd say definitely if you've, if you've played the first game, you're definitely going to pick this one up. But if not, then yeah. Daryl, I think this next game that I'm about to ask you about needs no introduction. It's Final Fantasy XV. Yep, the next game from developer Square Enix, which comes out end of September. Don't quote me on that either because games tend to... It's like movie like, titles these days, yeah. they always sop and change and when they come out we still get excited as we were when we heard about them. So the, one of the draw cards for this is the character interaction. Mm. Uh, the guys act like brothers on screen. I mean, everything's well scripted. The characters mingle well together. And yeah, as you can see, the CGI is amazing. Yeah. I mean, that looks like a, a proper CGI film. What, what I've loved about Final Fantasy throughout the years is that it, it, they've kept the same look and feel. Mm. Also, the yeah. whether they're new characters, but they almost look like they are all related. Yeah, it's got that very, very like anime-ish style yes. to its Japanese art, that sort of thing. Um, so yeah, they've stuck with uh, the same art style through most of the titles. Um, obviously, character animation and enemy animation, everything's changed. This is bigger, better. So uh, one of the characters that was remodeled uh, was a male character, his name was Sid, and they, they've actually... Sid the Sloth from Ice Age? No, 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 it's not the Sloth. Now, now they've modeled Sid into a female character. So these characters, uh, from what I know from previous games, they were called Ions. So when you're in combat, you can you can summon these Ions. They, they 
basically fly in from the sky. It's like this amazing CGI video where you're just like destroying everything in your path. Final Fantasy XV, you have one sentence to sell me it. It's a sexy game. That's it. That's it's downright sexy. It's it's got the graphics. It's got the oh, gameplay. I it's... said one sentence. <laughs> Can't you see I'm trying to sell it? I get it. I get it. I get it. Okay, <laughs> another game that was on my list. Um, the last one on my list that I brought to you today is Gears of War Four. Yeah. It seems like every shooter's dream. Uh, essentially, for those on who play Xbox One, mm -hmm. uh, that would be our dream. So if you've if you've grown up with Gears, you you've played most of the titles in the series. And now Gears of War is the Xbox One exclusive, and it's the latest title in the series. It looks like a really graphic type of game. Like I mean, when explosions happen, it literally explodes onto your screen. And yeah, there's like blood away. all over the screen yeah. and everything. So yeah, uh, I'd say it's very very intense, very okay. intense combat, especially when it comes to the multiplayer. So you've obviously got guys running around the map, chain swinging each other, blowing each other's heads off, that sort of thing. So it's it's that sort of, it's, I wouldn't call it hyper-violent, mm. but but it's it's intense. It's just an intense experience. Dale, what's the best way to play this game? Multiplayer or single? Uh, I'd say both, because the, the single player storyline is very, it's, it's gripping. I mean, I played, most of them and in a lot of them there's sequences where you actually you you tend to relate to the characters okay and all that. I'm not gonna lie uh, at the end of I think it was Gears of War 2 I actually shed a few tears really so yeah it's it's a very dramatic storyline when I watch the, you know, these trailers on, on YouTube about the games and stuff it's, it's very busy on screen yeah so essentially it's five on five okay. so it's five per side so even if you are alone and you're last man in your team and you've got five people gunning for you, you're you're either gonna be a fantastic player who's gonna take these mm. guys down or you're just going to get shredded on the screen. So yeah, it's it's yeah. very busy. There's a lot going on. There's guys running around with shotguns, there's guys running around with uh, guns with chainsaws on them, throwing grenades at you, that sort of thing. So the nice thing about it is it's got a cool cover system to it. So uh, you run up to a wall and basically you, you stick to cover, you can take cover. So if you check the gameplay, obviously no one can attack you unless they're coming from your left and right. Uh, so yeah, the, this cover system essentially like redefined cover systems for video games these days. A lot of the games try to pull it off, but the guys from Epic Games and as well as the coalition who's the developer now, they pretty much stuck to that formula. Mm. And that's what makes Gears great, is the cover system. What makes Gears 4 great is the fact that it feels like Gears of War. They haven't, mm. they haven't taken the game, they haven't stripped away what the previous developers have done. They've worked with it, they've improved on it. Besides these games, you know, these are still coming. It's forthcoming games, throwing it forward. Hopefully, you know, if you want to, from what we spoke about, get these games later on. There's also games that uh, are out now. Yeah. So we can't forget about the games that are out now. So a couple games I would suggest to you is obviously Ratchet and Clank. It's yeah, man, that one just never gets old. <laughs> it's just always there and it seems to just captivate audiences. People just go buy it and they go crazy for Ratchet. Mm. It's essentially like a remake of the original game that graced the PlayStation and they've re pretty much mastered everything. It's like a new game. The graphics look sick. Mm. It's, it's one of the best looking games that I've seen on console lately. Hmm. And then moving away from that, I'd suggest Dirt Rally, which has probably been named like one of the best rally games to date. So the game's been developed by Codemasters and it's been ranked as one of the best rally games to date. Sure, um, title. It looks pretty cool as well from what I've seen and what I've played. Um, it's, it's just if you're into rally games, if you're into racing, it's it's one of the games that you need to pick up on either Xbox One or PlayStation 4. Now aside from those two, there are also other great titles out there. Yeah, so there's Quantum Break, which is a Xbox One exclusive. Uh, it deals with a lot of time travel and okay. everything. And then if you're a hardcore gamer, there's Dark Souls 3. Now, as I say, hardcore, uh, Dark Souls 3, literally you die. Huh. That that is it. You if you're running into combat, there, there, there's a pretty good chance that you're. What's going the to point die. of this game? Then? It, it's it's challenging. That's okay. the thing. And Do what, not die. So the thing about Dark Souls is it's it's for hardcore gamers. It's definitely for hardcore gamers. So you're going to die 
quite a bit, and okay. that's a challenge for it. It's it's like trudging on, like pushing on, like can you defeat this boss? No, you can't. Thirty times later, he's down, and it's that wow. accomplishment accomplishment at the end of the day where oh, you're okay. like I've beat that boss I've beat this game you know you've got to work a bit yeah okay. I mean I'd literally probably make myself an award for completing Dark Souls 3 see now that. that's that's a that's a game that just flies right past me man I want I want to feel good and I want to like beat that boss first time maybe second time I think that you should stick to Uncharted put it there thank you awesome. so much for joining us you on YouTube as well yeah uh, if you search YouTube and you go Daryl Linnington you should find my channel there uh, you can also check out itnewsafrica.com mm -hmm. that's where I do most of my editorial work I do video game reviews and tech news well, you heard it from the man himself. Don't forget to check out our YouTube channel as well. Yes, you can find us. Just type us in, Edge, and it'll all come up. On that note, though, if you're on social media, don't forget to hashtag EdEdge. We'd love to see what you guys think and read what you guys think. So get interactive. Next up, we meet Kokasi Hotspot.